working on a Yamaha EC2800 uh, generator from the uh, I think the middle 80s to the 90s uh, good generator just older um, it has the stop button where you got to hold it down until the engine comes to a complete stop and it has an oil alert and it does work I did verify that and there is the oil sensor and to test it you disconnect this blue plug here and on the left side here you uh, touch that to ground and as long as it's touching the ground it's the same as hitting the stop button and when you do that it kills the ignition and that light oil light will light up but I want to show you how the voltage regulation works on this generator most generators a lot either have a capacitor or they have a voltage regulator so you pull the back cover off and you look there's um, these are the wires the main stator wires that power if, that you get power from and you have these are other sensing and excitation uh, wires that go to the stator but there's no voltage regulator here. If you had a voltage regulator here, you would see a little box, um, they're usually square, rectangle, or they have a half moon shaped. Um, so anyways, these two green wires, I've already disconnected them, but you wanna disconnect them and don't touch anything. And you wanna take something and ground those two terminals like that you want to um, make sure that gets the voltage out of the capacitor and so to test it you have to have a meter to uh, test capacitance and first you need to know well what's the capacitor rate it for if you look here 36 uf or 36 microfarads at 250 volts so we go to our meter and as you can see right there, there's the capacitor symbol. And we take our leads. Now this meter takes a few seconds for it to get a reading. You put it on there. I'm trying not to get a glare. There we got 36.26 and that's uh, UF or microfarads so we know that capacitor is good according to that reading the other thing you want to look for is it leaking any oil out is it bulging those are two signs that you need to replace the capacitor so the capacitor tests good we're gonna go ahead and put those two green leads back on this is a Yamaha EC2800, um, but it's this similar, uh, all the generators all work the same if they have a capacitor set up. And this is very simple. Um, you just have the circuit breaker right here, and you have these two um, the outlets there. We got a pilot light that lights up right here to let you know you have good voltage. There's your circuit breaker. And this is good for 22.4 amps. And then here on the side, we have a 120 volt outlet as well. Now, I'm currently working on the carburetor. Um, I had already replaced the bowl gasket. It was leaking, but I, um, the float um, needs set. It's, it's um, and cleaned because it's uh, overflowing. All right, um, so there's the um, Yamaha EC2800 generator and how the voltage regulator works. By the way, the voltage works off of speed. The higher the speed, the more voltage you have. The lower the speed, the voltage lowers. So also the way do you adjust the speed on this generator is here, come to the where the pull starter is. And if you we zoom back in here, See that screw right there? 
you turn you turn that clockwise and the more you turn it clockwise this faster your speed is and if you turn it counterclockwise to the left you will lower the speed so that's how you adjust the speed of the generator and then it also has adjustments for how fast it recovers from dropping a load or adding a load and here is the spring and then you see there's three holes here well we're on the center hole we're on the center hole right there and you can try one of those other holes if you need to uh, get a different adjustment but generally this one uh, works good on the center hole Uh, that's about it. These Yamaha generators are very high quality. Um, like I said, this is an older one, but still good.